So my name is Max Barr. I am a new business sales consultant for the Access Group. So today's session um, covered a couple of different solutions. So we had invoice automation and business processing. Really what that highlighted to customers is the fact that if they have issues with regards to either one of these facets, then actually the Access Group can alleviate their pain. Maybe it's around invoice processing or compiling board reports and allowing them to just focus on, on other business orientated tasks as opposed to processing invoices and preparing board reports to just reduce the, that pain of, of compiling that information. So the biggest opportunities for finance teams is really just taking away something that potentially quite cumbersome and onerous, um, such as anything from HR, expense processing, invoice processing, and just taking that pain away from their finance team so they can be focused on other business orientated tasks as opposed to the manual task of, of inputting data. And what the access group can do is can take, take that part of the process, input it into a solution, so we have an invoice automation solution. So I'm just going to log in as a typical uh, purchase ledger clerk and I'm just going to upload a couple of invoices um, really just to show you um, how the solution will um, look at the invoices and extract the key data. Um, so I've just logged into to my typical interface. Um, as I said, I'm just going to upload some invoices. This is one of the ways an invoice can be received by the solution. I'm just going to show this here. Let's just do three invoices here. You can upload three, um, two, one, a hundred, doesn't matter. I'm going to first of all show invoices with a purchase order just to show you what that looks like. Um, so all you need to do is click upload and what that is now telling me that three files have been uploaded successfully. Um, so they will now be sitting in my in progress tab which I'm just going to come onto now. Um, and these are going to be coming in and as I said the solution is going to be running an OCR on the PDF. So as I said OCR is optical character recognition, going to be looking for the data in the invoices and processing through um, into the invoice register. Um, so I'm going to now click on start and what this is going to tell me is now going to take me to the invoices themselves. So I just did three one page invoices, fairly standard PDFs. Um, so worth mentioning that these, the solution has never seen these invoices before. The only thing I have done is set up the supplier on the supplier ledger within Access. Um, so the solution has correctly identified this um, invoice is for Hawk Wholesale. That could have been the fact it says Hawk Wholesale, um, but it also does logos. But it also uses all the metrics within Dimensions. The solution will use all of those metrics to essentially make the best guess that this is in fact the same supplier. So Hawk Wholesale is correctly identified. If I tab down, um, you can see here that it's um, correctly brought up the invoice number, so all I need to do is press tab to confirm that information. And if I just tab down, just making sure that all the information is correct. The solution is all around teaching though, so if in fact if this was incorrect, you can teach the solution where the missing information is. And in order to do that, if I wanted to capture this as the purchase order, all I need to do is draw a box around it, and that would now be captured as the PO number. Obviously that's not correct, but that's just showing you how you can teach the solution if there is any missing information. Only once all the boxes have been green ticked can you process out. And what that will automatically do is going to take me on to my next um, invoice. And there's a couple things that you can do from here. If all the invoices, uh, sorry, if all the um, boxes have been green ticked, you can simply send this straight into the invoice register. What I've done is I've made it come to this stage just so I can show you that all the information has been captured. Okay, um, so there we go. So that was just two invoices um, that's gone through there. Um, that's all I'm going to show you for those particular invoices. I'm now going to go on to the invoice register, um, so hopefully familiar territory to you guys, and you can see that these have come through straight away. So dated today, this is one from Hawk Wholesale. Um, you can see um, that the order number is attached, the invoice number was there. All that information has come straight in here. So again, it's very simple for the solution to just simply feed all this information to the invoice register. And of course, if you click on the click on the paperclip icon, you will bring up that physical copy of the invoice as well. So again, very simple um, to process through here. Once it's in the invoice register, it's business as usual. So again, if you have um, purchase orders, you can match to the match to the outstanding order uh, within the invoice register, or you can push out for approval to your similar workflows that you've already been set up. Um, that's how, how simple that can be um, for, for purchase order invoices. Just to take a step back, I'm going to show you one really quickly um, for a non-purchase order. Um, so all I'm going to do, this is a non-PO, so we're going to be capturing the line items and it's going to be going through the same process as before. Um, that's going to come through in just a second, we're just going to wait for that. Um, again, as I said, just to re re 
really um, come back onto it. You're not going to be waiting for this to come in. You can see this is now sort of in the status um, bar here. Document export in progress. It's just running the OCR. It will, whilst um, using OCR, it will scan for orientation as well. So if something has been scanned in um, landscape, it will flip it to portrait as well. So it's using all that information um, to capture that there. Um, so that, this is it for, for a line item invoice. Um, again, very similar workflows, but as you will not be matching to a purchase order, we're going to be keying in the line items. You can see this particular invoice has gone straight through into the invoice register because it's a familiar format, one that I'm used to. You can now see, um, here it is, Monterey here. Um, you can see there all the information has been brought in and all the line items will be brought in as well. Um, so that was just showing you, I guess, a more typical supplier. So again, the whole solution is built on, on, on self-learning technology. So if you have a supplier that you use countless times, um, then the solution will be very familiar with the format um, and the invoices will be processed straight into the invoice register. The KPIs that the solution will try to hit on a brand new invoice is about 80%. So if you have a new supplier with a brand new invoice, um, it will pick up about 80% of the information. Um, can be 100%, really just depends on the image quality. Um, and then can be processed out. Um, so that is it, and the final place to show you from this, so that is the, the capturing of the invoice detail, also the document management. The final stage is we also have an approve tool, so invoice approval. Um, just a word of warning, if you use focal point for approval, um, this will be not necessary for yourselves. You would still remain with um, um, focal point approve. A cloud approve is essentially um, a sister solution of, of, of focal point approval, where essentially invoices will come through to yourself. This came through um, today. You can see here, um, this is for an organization called Tufty Consulting. It gives you all the information um, from your um, login. You can see the actual invoice itself. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. You can obviously approve, but you can also analyze as well. So you can see these are defaulted to the 2000 purchasing code. If you have the ability to, you can change the costing of these um, and you can even put holds on the invoice as well. So really very simple. You have all the information. I can see who the approvers are at each stage. I can write comments on this. So again, all of this can be done from a tablet device as well. Um, so you do not need to be restricted um, to the office. You can send out approvals to, to whoever you is, whoever you're with. Uh, budget holders, line managers, finance, whatever it is, um, and push them out for approval. And approve and reject um, is very simple as well. So customers can find out more about these products. I'd say the best point of, of contact is your account manager. I love working with customers. I love getting in front of customers. Each one is going to be unique. Each one is different. So we can just listen to our customers and see what we can offer so we can hopefully help our customers achieve their growth plans.